And in here is my computer where I spend most of my time doing works for my clients. Hello mga ka-budget! It's me again, Budget Pinay. And welcome again to my channel. So, in here, I share topics about simple saving techniques, budgeting hacks, and practical living. So, for those who don't know yet, I am a freelancer. I do social media management, graphic design, and video editing for international clients. And I am planning to add additional content here in my channel about freelancing so if you're interested with that topic might as well subscribe in this channel para updated ka sa mga susunod kong video today i will be sharing to you guys the little space i have here in our house i have requested my husband to build me a small office here in our house para focus ako dun sa mga client tasks ko sa freelance job ko, you know, para may, may place ako where I can do yung job na kailangan ng mga clients ko. Here, I do most of the time yung mga client task and mag-ipag-usap sa mga clients. Anything about freelancing. And most of all, I do here in my small space the budgeting plan, and budget monitoring as well. As you all know, um, from my previous video, dito ko siya ginagawa. So, let's go! Ayan, pasok tayo sa aking mini office. As you can see, I have here my wall with goat. Life is a beautiful ride. And dito naman, do small things with great love. Diba? Anything na ginagawa mo with passion and love, syempre maganda yung outcome or result. And here's my little window para pag need ko ng air, yan, in-open ko lang siya. Here's my computer set. Yan. And then, here's my chair. And in here is my computer where I spend most of my time doing works for my clients. I also have here my calendar. Of course, pag nasa bahay ka nag-work, hindi mo na minsan alam yung date or yung araw. Kaya, need talaga natin ng calendar. Here naman are my essential oils. Ito yung mga oils na nilalagay ko sa diffuser ko pag gusto ko mag-relax. So, helpful talaga siya sa akin kasi nakadagdag siya ng focus sa work um, pag relax ako. At syempre, mabango din yung room. Here's my vanity kit para pag may meeting or urgent catch up with the client. Powder lang ako and then konting lip tint. Ready na to open the camera and do Zoom meetings or Google meeting. Here's my calculator, glasses, and pens. Here is my Bible kasi nakasama na sa to-do list ko yung pag-read ng Bible Gospel every day. Nakakadagdag kasi siya ng positivity at syempre ma-uplift yung sarili mo sa mga nababasa mo. This naman is the space for my notebooks and books. Ayan. So, I have here yung mga books na nire-read ko. This one, The Power of Positive Thinking. Um, inspirational siya for me kasi marami ako learnings na nakuha dito. And how to get positive in life even on a negative situation. 
This one naman, Diary of a Pulubi by Chinkitan, helps me learn how to manage my finances wisely para hindi ka maging pulubi. Ito naman yung cabinet ko. I have here, yan yung box. Diyan ko nilalagay yung small things like this USB. Meron din ako dito na money box. Dito ko naman nilalagay yung mga earnings ko sa Gcash transaction and sa e-loading business ko. Then, eto yung external drives ko na need ko dahil most of my task I do for the clients are video editing and graphic designs. So, need ko na extra space para hindi ka agad consume yung memory space ng computer ko. And I also have here my coin bank. Dito ko sinisave yung invincible money challenge na ginagawa ko for this year. This is my tutorial table. So, dito ko ginagawa yung mga tutorials ko dun sa mga previous videos ko. Ayan. So, I have my ring light. And I also have here yung planner and yung budget monitoring booklets ko. Ayan. Everyday, ino-open ko yan kasi dyan nakasulat yung mga to-do list ko. And dito sa budget monitoring, yan, dito nakasulat yung daily expenses ko, savings, and the budget as whole. Lastly, I want to share with you guys here my calendar goals. So, eto, binigay sa akin ng client ko yung template, goal template, wherein I have to fill in yung short term, medium term, at saka long term goal ko. Yung purpose niya is para meron akong something to look forward at saka meron akong aim na ma-achieve within this year or in the future. At kung ano-ano yung mga nagawa ko na at mga na-achieve ko na rin. Maganda rin talaga yung meron kang goal calendar kasi monitor mo yung progress mo. That will be all for today mga kabudget. I hope nagkaroon kayo ng idea what kind of space we freelancers have. So, I hope you like this video and as I said, I will be releasing new content on this channel about freelancing and if you want that kind of topic, please do subscribe, hit the notification bell para updated ka sa mga future videos. Thank you for watching and bye!